I teach a signature course called uh, Genetics, Evolution, and Human Health. And this is a course that connects what we understand about biology, genetics, and evolution to personal choice and policy decisions in the society. When you're going to talk about genetics or evolution or human health, you can't just be a geneticist. Uh, if I'm going to talk about what humans eat, say, well, how do I know what they ate 10,000 years ago? Then I'm going to have to talk about anthropology. If I'm going to say a fossil is a million years old, how do we know that? Now we're talking about geology and radioactive dating. You begin to get various disciplines, various connections throughout the, throughout the course. The idea is to have students begin to appreciate that they are part of a four billion year old family of life. We're evolved and that we have a range of environments in which we thrive and other environments where we probably don't do so well. We will definitely be focusing on how do we know what we should be eating and what are the consequences of not eating in that manner. Diseases, vaccines, I think it's very important to talk about vaccination as a public health issue, what is the biology, what is the evolutionary significance. Genetics is the study of variation. And so we'll start with some kind of variation that you can see. We often call it the phenotypic variation. Why are your eyes blue or brown, something like that. And then we drill down to the DNA and see what changes, correlates with that change at some higher level. In the course of Genetics Evolution and Human Health, I have students read papers these are the middle level science papers, the type of thing you'd see in Scientific American or Discover Magazine, maybe the New York Times, so that they get comfortable with reading about science and being able to understand what goes on in there. So in the signature course, Genetics, Evolution, Human Health, by the end I would like students to understand that they are evolved organisms embedded in their environment. And not only are they embedded in their environment, but their environment is embedded in them and that this will have implications for their own health and well-being, their own family's health and well-being, and actually for decisions they're going to have to make in the society about what makes sense biologically. Everybody is going to have to vote on issues that have scientific content, and it's really important that you be educated so that they can bring all the perspectives to any social issue. So in the course, uh, Genetics, Evolution, and Human Health, I would like the students at the end of the course to realize science is not separate from their lives, that science is a part of their lives, and it's a part of policies you're going to have to make, and not to avoid science because it's hard or difficult or ununderstandable, but it's really a vital part of the society you live in, is to understand something about science. Uh, and I think that is the most important thing.